Gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Striker. My name is Luba. Channel is about dating in Ukraine and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So subscribe to the channel to learn some things or two. No. <laughs> we also have two other channels. <laughs> uh, one is like Car Turkey on the Go, which shows everything that we do on our tours. And uh, Rocket Life, it's if you're thinking about moving to Ukraine. So please join us and our Telegram community where we post every day some little hints and tricks and things about Ukraine. So, what is the topic? I don't even know. The topic is about... I was saying something. <laughs> just before this, but I said, do you understand what I mean by exposure? And you were like, no. And, and, and I don't mean <laughs> exposure like taking your pants off in the woods when, a, uh, when some girls are walking past. The only reason I say that is because I know that Luba knows the word exposure because some guy took his pants off in the woods while you were walking past one day. Thank you for telling the guys. Yeah. So not that kind of exposure. Okay, <laughs> so the video today, I, I think, it's, I think it's, it's a little bit deep, but I think it's very interesting, okay? So uh, when I talk about exposure, I'm talking about exposure to women. Now, um, I've been like a pretty big subscriber, I guess, to the Red Pill uh, Manosphere. So I know that some of you guys are. If you're not, it's not a bad thing to uh, try and understand a little bit for yourself before you come over to Ukraine. Um, and one thing that is pushed heavily is uh, when it comes to uh, some of the ideologies uh, in that space is, you know, be a high, higher value man, you know, have a man with purpose, a man on a mission, uh, go to the gym, get bigger muscles, lose weight, earn more money, and all of these things are 100% correct. You should be doing those things, right? But even if you do those things, and we've had clients that are in very good shape, look very good for their age, uh, look younger than me, and some of them are 15, 20 years older than me, um, uh, earn a lot of money. I mean, we've had clients that have, you know, have a lot of wealth behind them, you know, uh, have done very, very well in life. So what's the problem? What's wrong with, why, why, why aren't the women coming flocking? Like it's uh, uh, as described in Red Pill uh, philosophy. Well, the reason is, is because of exposure, of not having exposure to women that they want to date. And that's what, that's basically what, well that is what this video is about, is that in, in the West, um, you're only exposed to your own, I guess, social group, right? Maybe your church. Exposed, you maybe mean like uh, telling the truth, like showing who you are? Uh, no, 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 yourself. no, no, just having more interactions with more women, right? That you would be attracted to, that, uh, mm -hmm. that meet your criteria. Um, because back home, if I think of uh, myself back in New Zealand, we've got our group of friends. We've got maybe some of their friends that sort of extended a bit further. A couple of other things, like activities that you might do, going to the gym, maybe doing some sports. What do you mean, that's all? Uh, Neighbours. Um, and where I lived was a little bit kind of remote, and it was quite a, a lot of sort of older people. It was like a, I wouldn't say rural, but it was out of the main city. So you're very limited there as well. Um, you could go to bars and nightclubs, if that's your scene, if that's how you want to meet ladies, um, which, I mean, I guess it can work, but I guess you'll get to a certain age where that becomes not as acceptable um, to go out and do that. Uh, as you age, as you go through the years, your exposure to women becomes a lot less. When I was 20, I mean, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, we were at the bars, and you were exposed Wednesday, to- Thursday, <laughs> yeah, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We did well, it was like a whole year <laughs> we did that. Um, but, um, you know, you're exposed to a lot of women that you can date, but back then it doesn't matter, you know? But as you get into your even 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, how are you gonna get the exposure uh, to meeting new ladies, ladies that would be compatible, ladies that you would want to date. It becomes so difficult, you know, no matter how much money you've got. Well, I guess if, <laughs> I guess there's a certain level when you've got a certain amount of money and you're happy to flaunt it, of course you're going to attract uh, women. Are these the right women that you want to invite into your life? For the majority, I would say no. Um, so how do you do it, you know? And I guess that's the thing that, um, well, I guess what, that, well, that's what this video is about, is that coming over to Ukraine, you instantly become exposed to a plethora of women that meet your criteria, that are in your age group, that um, have a lifestyle that matches your lifestyle, you know, that, are, uh, that they are also looking for a relationship. You know, we've talked about it before about um, go, the reason why using uh, matchmakers, dating agencies, um, and so forth is a good idea because the ladies have taken a proactive step 
to go somewhere to meet foreign men, to meet men from the West. That part is already set. The premise is already set for what that interaction is going to be for. You know, it's not just a random lady that's at the gym and you're going to go and talk to her about something and hopefully try and spark something. And it's already set. The hard, the hard part of it is already done uh, for you. But when you come over to Ukraine, there are so many options, yeah? Yes, you know? and um, the interesting part is that, you know, I was thinking, like you said, about like younger age that you have, but here in Ukraine, honestly, I see this problem a lot, even between locals, because uh, if you didn't get married here, kind of, like, while you was at the university, uh, or, like, you're not friends, like, uh, with, uh, like, from school or something like that, it's actually very difficult, because uh, good girls, they kind of don't really want to go, like, where, where should they go? Nightclub, um, not really, like, some events, uh, uh, and like when they go to work usually there would be like I have a friend she's a lawyer like very nice girl but she didn't got married like young, a little bit like she's 32 33 guys keep in mind but um, like she's like yes she has her set like like who she wants to meet she doesn't want like she has plenty of like just guys who can you know send her flowers or or just you well, know boom, or boom boom but she wants something serious she wants something more to that than that so she work in a big lawyer company and of course all the guys there are married and they all just you know they're like they look at her and it's nothing that she wants like to be you know the second option or something like that so it is difficult and sometimes what's funny happening is that the ladies that I introduced to the guys, they said if we're not doing the same with the women, like they have a lot of brothers and cousins, they can't find a woman and they ask if we work with the, like maybe I know some local women that would be happy with the guy or maybe they're western ladies who, uh, like it's actually nobody ever started western that. Western ladies. I, western ladies like. They've got no idea. But I don't know, maybe it would be like, maybe it would be good, like if the guy is not, uh, I don't know, I I always like this, this. They're not, Ukrainian guys are not going to like do anything proactive to be with a western woman i don't know but for me this thought is like always coming back to me i don't know but this is true like it's very difficult to find somebody especially like in your circle like it's so good that you can come to the agency and you can actually choose and we don't like this comparison with the pizza mm. but kind of like you can tell that you don't want this ingredient or that ingredient and you want mm. this and that and and it's okay and uh, also what is good is that when like i work with the guys and i match make them the good part is that i get to know them and I can advise them some ladies I can recommend them somebody that I met before that maybe didn't work out with that person because they was just not match but with him I can advise and it will work out very well so I guess we covered the topic of the video yeah it was I mean kind of discussion really it was kind of a spur of the moment video I mean it's um yeah I mean I guess the biggest I say the biggest benefit but one of the biggest benefits is you will be exposed to a lot of ladies I mean a lot of our clients you know they you know they were in a long relationship like marriage for instance and then they come out of it and then for them it's like well over the next 10 days they're doing two three dates per day and after the date you know the feedback is, is that they want to see them again like it, it's overwhelming even though it sounds like it's man it would be so amazing it is very overwhelming it is very um uh exhausting tiring it can be stressful you know you got to have a pretty level headed you got to sort of like level off and sort of go okay right just got to be sensible about the whole thing you know, but you will have a lot of ladies. And this doesn't happen, you know. It doesn't happen uh, normally in any other dating uh, environment because you're being exposed to women that meet your criteria that were, opening, op that were open to meet you as well based on what their criteria is. So it's not always about the man choosing. She has to choose you as well. Otherwise, we give you the effect. It's like she's not interested, okay? Then it's, it's, yeah. then it's done. She's, she has a list of criteria. You have them. You're, you're in the same sort of ballpark. There's a Venn diagram. There's you. There's her. There's something in the middle. Um, and that's like that's, you know, it's not a, it's not a normal and I think scenario. But support, support is also very important in this matter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When you when you meeting the person, it's not nowadays like it's really everybody complaining that there's so much information at the moment and you get to know so much. But it's good to have somebody who is on your side, who is not that interested, like in this, like it's not um, emotionally involved, but involved enough to help you uh, to be sober about everything and to understand like it's actually everything is good. Everything is not good. Every, like what should you do? How can you change it? How can you fix it? What should you do and should you do? anything about that yeah so okay so that's the video for today it's about exposure not taking your pants off in the park when Sorry. when the girls come running past which happens subscribe to the channel guys we will tell you more about uh, not about that 
See you next time. We'll see you later.